A DPP councillor has called the Kaohsiung City Council session that ended on Thursday the, quote, most absurd in history. For a year now, the Green Camp has had a fractious relationship with the Hangui administration, which it accuses of dereliction of duty. On the final day of the session, Kaohsiung's acting mayor, Ye Kuangshi, greeted the councillors one by one before the meeting. <laughs> DPP councillors lodge complaints over the events of the session. <laughs> They're left embittered over having to draw lots to question the mayor and for how question and answer sessions had been greatly truncated. They said that after Han began his presidential campaign, they were unable to question him at all. Han did not report to city council to present his first budget proposal. On the day his 146.5 billion NT bill was referred to a committee, a melee broke loose on the floor. This year we set the record for the largest budget in history. Not a single cent was trimmed from the total. It looks as if the heart of the KMT has only space for political posturing and not for public welfare. The councillors called out the mayor for a spotty attendance record. They said many of his appointed officials had taken his cue and left the government to join his campaign. This entire municipal team, since Mayor Han came to office, there have only been three days when all his department's directors were present. Also, for the first time, the head of the city government was swapped out during the budget review process. I believe that this session of the Kaohsiung City Council has set the record for the most absurd session in the annals of local government. With just one year in office, the Han administration's relationship with the Green Camp has reached a deep freeze. DPP councillors say they fully expect to see Han lose the election and be back at City Council in 2020.